Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here at Huntsville Dragway for Radio Fest Fall Edition. Uh, the last time we were out here, we were running Mean Street. That was the spring edition last year, so it's been a while. Hey, listen up, man. So, uh, we made a couple of test passes. Most of them were unsuccessful. We did go at 530. I'll show you guys that here in a second. We're done with the intro, but um, we're running Mean Street. The index for Mean Street is 520 today, and we can run that no problem. So we just had to go down the track. The usual suspects are out here. We got Rory over here. We got Jake over there. We got Derek on the other side of the trailer over there. We got... Uh, Get your time uh, Do another guy from Holly uh, over there. We got like the, like the whole Holly team is over here. And then uh, Nate McKnight's over here with Big Ugly. Uh, we got, I mean, there's a lot of fast cars out here, man. The, the freaking pits are crowded out here. Uh, we got here early on uh, on test day, and we're parked out here kind of in the weeds. Like, I call it the weeds, really. You can see, like, right here behind me, man. It is, it is freaking crowded out here. We're excited. Uh, I think we have a 520 tune up in the car. We just got to get it to stick. The track has been pretty sketchy today. Um, so hopefully it comes around. I saw them there prepping it and putting some uh, gold dust down on it earlier. So uh, we're going to go up here for first round and uh, we're going to see how the car goes, uh, how the car does. Um, and hopefully we get that number. So we'll see. Uh, we got two rounds of qualifying uh, tonight and then we have one round of qualifying in the morning starting at 10. And then, uh, oh, and I forgot Dustin's over here too. We got Dustin over here running. Uh, Radical Street. Radical Street. Radical Street. And Radical Street's a 570. Jake's running a 570. So uh, we're excited, man. So we're going to see how this goes. We're going to get up here for first round of qualifying. And fingers crossed. of day two right here cooking some breakfast up, up and early i think burnt looks good <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is a little burnt we're out here last night didn't go so well for us anyways jake was killing it last night billy's car acted up we're this is struggle village over here my car billy's car and rory's car acted up too so what's you know, good about that though what every time I have to disassemble something off the engine at Radio Fest the first night after Q1. I run a personal test the next day, so. Well, hopefully some of that luck <laughs> spreads out, spreads all around Everybody the whole camp. a good day after I hit like, the complete struggle streak. Yeah, it happens, I guess. I feel like if you if you're on struggle streak at the beginning, things are going to go good later on. But that's just wishful thinking, I hope. But. I didn't get a lot of video last night. I didn't look at any data logs. I'm gonna be honest with you. Most uh, the last three runs that I made yesterday were completely useless. I literally knocked the tires off every single hit, and uh, I'm not exactly sure why. Other than I was just trying to hit it too hard for what the track was gonna hold. Um, I don't know. We started chasing some air pressure issues. Uh, my air pressure gauge actually reads one psi high, um, which is kind of discrepancy, but it's, I don't think that was the issue. So I knocked some power out of it for the first couple of feet. I pulled some more timing out of it. And uh, we're gonna, we were supposed to get Q2 last night, but we're gonna get it um, today. Q2, Q3, and then we'll go into round one of eliminations um, and see how that goes. So hopefully, hopefully if the car sticks, it'll run the number, I just need it to stick. So a little uh, bummed out about it, but hey, you gotta keep our spirits high and just keep working and pushing forward. So. 
Um, we're gonna grab some breakfast, uh, get the cars warmed up, and wait for uh, Q2, and see how that goes. So we'll pick up when we get there. All right, we come up here. Yeah, we can watch one when they race. Ain't no one racing right now. All right, we come up here to look at the qualifying sheet from our one botched pass last night, and it looks like we are qualified number 10 right now oh, with a junk 692. That was with me getting on to like half half track when the boost come in. But uh, I don't think a lot of a lot of people didn't get down the track clean last night. And then there's like three dudes down here. Um, where's Derek? I know Derek's down here somewhere. That may be Derek. But anyways. Uh, these dudes went too fast, and then the rest of the field spun or did something funny. And then number one is uh, Logan's number one right now. So hopefully we can crack, we can make a stick today, and we can jump up this qualifying list. So we'll see. On the ladder, Lavender will be ahead. Go too fast to go to the bottom of the ladder. All right, guys. So I'm sitting here super freaking excited about that last pass. We struggled with the car all day yesterday. And then we come out first run today, Q2, and freaking make a heck of a pass. Index is a 520. And we went a 523 with a 7 at 135. Obviously, I pulled a little bit of power out of the first couple of feet of the run, and you can tell in the video, the car's kind of, it looks a little lazy, um, but it worked. It stayed hooked up, and uh, I feel like that is a uh, very competitive tune. Uh, I, we'll look at the data log real quick. Uh, here, and I like to show the run, too, because it's the first time I've ever gotten the other lane with Dan, and uh, Dan has a really, really nice red New Edge LS car. Um, he actually got me on the tree, but we both cut some killer freaking reaction times on the tree. And uh, he went a little too fast at a 518. Man, that was an awesome race. We were side by side the whole time. Those are the best races. Uh, looking at dialogue log right here. Um, one thing, if you guys look, my oil pressure is a whole, whole lot better now than it was. I changed to VR1, Valvoline VR1. And uh, the purple line here is oil pressure. And you see it only has a really small dip. And it's not a, a crazy dip either. It's, I mean, I think the lowest the oil pressure gets is on the lowest dip is uh, 68 PSI, which is still great. And then it recovers and maintains like 85 PSI throughout the rest of the run until the very end. But uh, yeah, it was like almost 31 pounds of boost right there. I've got the Ignite Red fuel back in here, so I really don't have enough timing in it uh, for the fuel. That's why it's running. That's why it only went 135 on 30 pounds of boost. But I'm not messing with it because we're racing. We're not trying to run. We're not trying to set the world on fire. We just want to be consistent. So I'm not worried about it. I don't really care what the boost number is. All I care is that it runs the number. But uh, you can see we had a bunch of power pulled out of it. If you look at the green line right here, this is RPM. And you can see the converter couples up uh, really, really early into the pass. And then all the timing, re timing comes back in the motor. And then it goes up and flashes again to where it should be flashing at 68 roughly 6800 rpm and then i short shifted it like a dummy at 6900 rpm and then i uh, rode it out the rest of the track a nice clean drive shaft curve uh some great data great data to hold on to for the future um, so we're getting this thing figured out i'm really really happy um we got q3 here in a little bit and then after q3 we'll go into elimination so hopefully uh hopefully we can 
get that 523 a little bit lower and go a 522, 521, something like that. So really excited about that, guys. So we're going to get the car cooled off as usual. Five twenty, five twenty, with an eight, dead on with eight for lavender. All right, guys. So we're back from that last pass, man, and it just keeps getting better. Um, I had a good feeling about today. I, I felt like that we were on the right track to getting this thing to work, and with a little bit of power management, man, it's it's on it, and the track is a little tighter today, so that's good. Um, the only thing I changed for this pass is I added one more pound of CO two and I didn't short shift the car and it went uh, 520 with an eight at 136.2. I had a bad reaction time at that pass, which is not good. This field is extremely tight. There's like four or five cars that have been a 520. So a lot of this racing is gonna come down to reaction time and then guys not getting too greedy when the DA goes down. We're gonna have to definitely watch the DA and when it gets lower, I'm probably gonna have to pull that pound of CO2 back off or the car is gonna break out. Um, but I'm pretty comfortable having that eight on the end of that right there for now. But if we, uh, there gets better, which it probably will when we go to e, uh, E1, we'll pull that pound of CO2 back off and I'll focus on cutting a good light. Um, happy with that though. And, uh, we'll take a look at the data log like usual. Um, let's get over here. Sat on the trans brake in about seven and a half, eight seconds to shoot got a little warm but not bad you see my initial flash when i was pulling timing it only flashes to 5800 and then it the ramp comes out and it flashes the conversion straight up to 6900 we're at 29 pounds of boost right there <clears throat> everything's looking good oil pressure's looking good you know we got a little a couple more dips over here but they're not substantial i mean you're talking the lowest dip i see right here once again is like 65 psi and it recovers real quick and by the end of the run, we're uh, we're back up to 83 pounds of oil pressure. So oil pressure's good. I'm really happy with that. Uh, it seems like eight quarts or nine quarts total is the sweet spot for my for my motor. We're just going to change it more often to keep the E85 out of it. <clears throat> but nice clean dry shaft curve. You guys probably saw a little bit of uh, wheel speed on that shift right there. The car did move around just a little bit, but it was nothing crazy. It was a nice smooth clean pass. I actually shifted it on the money at 8,000 RPM and it drops to 6,700. As I say, that converter, the converter is a little tight on this power level. I've got to really lean on this thing to loosen the converter up some, but I don't want to, I'm not going to change it this, this year. We're going to stay with it and see what we have. Running fairly fat air fuel ratio, 10.8 to 11.0 on up. Close loops pulling a little bit of fuel, but the car is nice and safe and that's what I'm happy about. It's nice, safe and dependable, reliable extremely happy with it so we got to figure out where we fall on the qualification ladder and see who, who we have first round there was a little bit of rain out here earlier which it seems to be drying up i think they're about to send guys back down the track hopefully and uh and hopefully we can get up there and uh and do good and and uh e1 so we'll see how it goes all right guys what is up day three of radio fest I didn't record it last night, but the rain rolled in about four or five o'clock. Sun went down and it was too cold to drive the track off. So they postponed the race until today. Um, we're looking pretty good. We were the number five qualifier with a 520 with an eight. That just goes to show you how extremely tight this field is. But they put us on, there's 27 cars in the field. They put us on a 32 car ladder. Uh, so the top five guys got a buy into the second round. So. I was the last guy to get a buy, so we're going into first round with a buy, which is nice. We can go out and hit it with the tune-up that I already have and just verify that it's, it's spot on uh, for that 520. Um, obviously, I'm watching weather and everything else real closely to try and like fine-tune that. Um, 
Jake. Jake, did you get the buy? Yeah. Jake got the buy first round into uh, Radical Street, and Dustin uh, also got the buy. So we're all going into first round with a buy. I think Derek, Derek qualified number seven, so he's got to race someone. Um, and then Logan also has to race someone for first round, I believe. Uh, and then the winner of Logan's race will I'll run in the second round. Uh, but we're out here, we're ready. Everyone's getting their engine started up. We're tired, third day here, but uh, we love this stuff. So we're gonna just keep pushing. We didn't come here to give up or quit because we're tired. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna, we're gonna freaking, we're gonna try our best and try to win this thing, man. I'm, I'm not gonna go down without a fight. So we're excited, getting everything ready. They're gonna start calling us up for round one here in probably the next 30 minutes or so. We're gonna get up there and knock this first round out and go on from there. <laughs> Obviously didn't have to race anyone that so in that uh, race, but uh, it was a good test of uh, how well I was able to do up there on the tree and check the tune. The DA is about 500 foot higher today than it was when I made the 520 with an eight pass yesterday. Uh, so mile per hour is about the same, but we went just a little slower in ET. Um, but I did short shift the car. Um, pretty happy with that reaction. 05 is a fairly respectable reaction time so i'm feeling good um here's the data log you can see uh you know the usual suspects here everything looks good left on 14.3 pounds of boost and then you know we ran like i think it peaked at like 31 pounds in high gear it was around 31 pounds uh, so uh, once again oil pressure is looking great these little dips are down to like 70 psi over here 75 ps i love those dips are very insignificant they look worse on the chart than they are and then obviously in high gear we get back over here and we got 84 pounds of oil pressure super happy about that engine is healthy it's feeling good it's running good we got everything is solid i'm feeling feeling good i feel like everything is working like it should and i'm doing my job i feel like we can be able, we can be very successful if, we, if i just we keep the same things we're doing uh so Man, really happy. Nice dry shaft curve. Car's alive still. It ain't skipped a beat. Uh, I'm just cooling it down. Uh, saving my data. We got some great data out here this weekend. If we if we go home, if we get put out next round, we still won because I have some amazing data to tune off of here in the future and here next year whenever we start racing again. So, really, really happy. Um, we got the guys up at Radical Street right now. Uh, and then we'll just be waiting around cooling down for uh, E2 and we'll see how that goes. Logan Duvall, the black fox body taking on the later model Mustang. 
GT. And right side wins it on a hole shot, 42 on the tree. Oh man, I'm so excited guys. I had no idea who won that race. It was so close. Um, I knew Logan was going to give it everything he had and he sure as heck did. He was 5-2-0 with a 4 on a 520 dial. Um, I got him pretty bad on the tree, so I was out ahead of him and I actually let out before the stripe because I was worried the car was going to break out, which is dumb. I should have known my car wasn't going to break out, but I was still nervous, so I was ahead, so I let out. As soon as I let off, he was like right there on me and I wasn't paying attention to who got the wind light, so it was like I was freaking nervous as heck uh, to get my time slip when I got, and I saw him hand me the white one, and I was extremely happy because Logan was not messing around. He was tough competition. So um, we got the win. We're on to the next round. I have no idea who we're getting yet, so I got to figure out, look through this ladder and see, go back to the live feed and see who won, and I'm going to figure out who I have and see how they ran. So we can game plan it i i'm debating on putting another pound of co2 on the car because i feel like with the higher da right now the car went 520 with an eight uh at 1500 feet 1600 feet da and then today we're at about 2400 foot da so i'm wondering if a pound is going to be enough to put me at the 2-0 or if it's going to be a little too fast so a little worried but i'm gonna game plan it and uh figure out what i'm gonna do from there but man finally we made it through first round second round we're going on third round i'm extremely happy so We'll see how this next round goes. Left lane wins at 522, beats a 521. guys we're on to the semis we made it to the semi-finals so we're in some money either way so uh we're gonna keep the car exactly the way it is i lost the time slip i'm a dummy i was over here excited but getting it cooled off making sure the battery's staying charged because i want to turn the car around quick i'm gonna get it nice and cool so it's less heat in it when i come back from the next pass if we do win we can cool it off again so we always got a game plan on what we're gonna do so uh we're excited we're gonna go up here and uh we got we're in the semi so it's tough man there ain't no fucking around in the semis hey, everyone is serious so we're uh we're gonna give it everything we got you know and uh we're gonna see how it goes you know a little small time uh deal we got going on out here you know doing it out of the garage right here competing with some pretty big some pretty big uh dudes that race a lot and they're fucking are really really good so i'm, I'm extremely grateful and excited and just man let's see how this next round goes
and Crook gets the win, 14 on the tree, goes dead on with a two, nice, nice, nice 16th aisle package. Lavender was 27 and four over for the loss. Sorry, it's dark. Um, sun went down real fast. Uh, the semis were almost at sundown. So, uh, you guys saw how that pass went. Um, I went my best reaction time all weekend. I went .02 something on the tree. I don't have the time slip. I was, it was a yellow time slip. It was kind of bummed. I just threw it in the car. Um, man, the other guy, that I, there, he put together an almost perfect pass. He had a .01 reaction, and he went 5.20 with like a 4 against me so there wasn't a whole lot i could do besides just run better and my car went four numbers too slow and went 524 so i mean it is what it is we competed with some some very uh very very competitive good heads up racers and we made it to the semifinals. so i cannot be more thankful and more grateful for that and we learned a lot and like i told derek a while ago we learn every time we come to these races and we get better and better and we're only gonna get better from here so um Excited, guys. That's going to end the video. I had a great weekend with everyone out here. Um, our whole team, our whole group over here was awesome. And we had a great time. Um, stay tuned, guys. We are going to Holly Springs this coming up weekend. The fall brawl. We're going to run Mean Street there, and it's going to be our last race of the year. So we're excited. You know, but uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>